chords this weekend. I know what you mean. I don't like driving either. 
especially during the summer. Traffic's just horrible. I, I had someone tailgating me for the longest stretch. It's so annoying, isn't it? Here's your tea, Grandma. Oh, thanks, Keith. Oh, but I really shouldn't have black tea. This is herbal tea, Grandma. Oh, that's why you did get me herbal. I, I can be so forgetful sometimes. <laughs> anyway, Jim, did I tell you my old friends Sam and Josh are coming to dinner? Who? Oh, yeah, yeah, it'll, it'll be nice to meet some of your old friends. They're friends from high school, right? Yeah, well, middle school, but we've been hanging out ever since. Sam, Josh, and I, we go way back. <laughs> I'm sure they're both really great guys. I'll look forward to meeting them. They probably won't be for a while, though. Josh is usually late. Oh, you know, sometimes it's better to be late than early. It's not much fun when you arrive an hour early. And... Well, or since Josh is usually late, I'm going to assume that's Sam. Hey, you're both here. Yeah, I gave Sam a ride. How's it going? Pretty good. Hi. Hey, Caitlin. Oh, good to see you again. So you must be Jim, and you must be Josh? Well, give me a hug, man. Oh. <coughs> no homo. If you're with Caitlin, then you're my friend, too. I'd give you a hug, too, but I wouldn't want Caitlin to think I'm trying to steal her boyfriend. <laughs> I would not think that. <laughs> I'm Sam. Sarah Walker. Hi, Josh. I guess I assumed Sam was a guy. Well, that's all right. I like being one of the guys. Uh-huh. Nonconformist. <laughs> I'm proud of it. So how'd you do it? Do what? How'd you get Caitlin to go out with you? I never thought I'd see the day she had a boyfriend. Yeah, well, Jim's special. You don't look that special. <laughs> <laughs> no offense. Hey, looks aren't everything. Oh, so you're one of those guys that goes for a girl's personality. Uh, not even that. It, it's chemistry. That's what I go for. Caitlin and I have chemistry. Chemistry 101. With Dr. Lee. Oh, I loved chemistry. <laughs> and we're just joking, Grandma. We didn't really meet in a chemistry class. My favorite part of chemistry was memorizing the periodic tables. <laughs> I don't like memorizing stuff. Hydrogen, helium, lithium. Well, it's summer now, so you can take a break from study, right? And by the time fall comes around, you'll have forgotten how to do rope memorization. Oh, Caitlin, in the heat of talking about other things, I completely forgot to tell you I'm dropping out. Why? Is there something wrong? No, no, I just wasn't learning anything useful. I wasn't having much fun, and I wasn't really making friends. Didn't you get to meet people in your dorm? Oh, I was living off campus. That might be your problem. It's harder to meet people when they're off campus. Oh, no. I'm not sharing a room with some stranger. Of course, renting an apartment is expensive, and school's expensive. It wasn't worth paying that much if I wasn't sure I wanted to be there. Anyways, I'm moving back here. If college was such a bad idea for you, Sam, maybe I shouldn't bother going at all. Of course you are going to college, Sarah. Besides, you'll be at my school. You'll be in town with your big sis. Well, damn it, I just can't get away from you, can't I? Oh, oh I just remembered. I, I have some vegetables in my purse that I need to get into the fridge. I better do that now before they start to get squishy. <laughs> so why aren't you interested in going to college, Sarah? Actually, I'm excited to get the whole college experience. I just don't want all those classes to hold me back from having a good time. Right. <laughs> you don't give a damn about school. You just want to party. Exactly. <laughs> I'm just scared I'm going to hate college kids. Sarah, we're all college kids. Yeah, and I hate you too. <laughs> I think you're stereotyping. Not all college kids are the same. You'll find friends, just like high school, but you're a couple years older. You go somewhere new, and you find that you are surrounded by all kinds of different people. You don't know what to do. You don't know what they mean to you. You don't know what to say to them.
sure you don't want to smoke, Jim. I'm sure. <laughs>
years in. I mean, I for one don't really know him yet. Hey Jim, do you play sports? Not really. <laughs> oh. Even though we part ways, all our feelings stay the same. Over time, we always find that our lives are intertwined. <laughs> but we never hang out anymore. We're all together today. Yeah, well, it's not like it used to be. We used to hang out all the time, every day after school. If you'd all gone to the same school, Sam, do you think we would have dropped out? Probably not. Well, I don't know. Why don't you just transfer to school with us? It would be nice to see you guys more often, but school just isn't what I need right now. You know what you do need? What do you think I need? Something that would inspire you to keep going.
Caitlin, would you clean this shit off the table? Richard, <laughs> I am in. We might need a couple extra chairs. And there, don't, there doesn't seem to be quite enough. Well, I was thinking two people could sit on the piano bench. Piano bench? I didn't know you had a piano. Yes, it was at a social function. Oh, there you go. 
You know what? I'm gonna leave. Hold on. It, it's just that you don't want guys to hit on you? Well, I can't imagine you'd like it very much either. If that's what it is, then why do you have a problem with Sam? I mean, it's not like she's gonna hit on you. You sure you don't want to ride home, Sam? I'm positive. Someday, Sam. Someday you'll realize this was all a mistake. Oh, come on. And you'll wish you had come with me. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. Good night, freak. Wow, what a jerk. I know, right? Like, oh my god, he is so straight. It's offensive. <laughs> it's that attitude of, oh, I'm better than everyone else because I'm a conformist. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I think all people have the right to be straight, too. Just don't flaunt it like that. <laughs> I wouldn't mind straight people so much if they weren't so damn obvious about it. <laughs> what are you kids laughing about? Oh, hey, Grandma. I guess I shouldn't call you kids, since most of you are in college now. But I was wondering if one of you could give me a ride home. I realize I left my pills at home, and I really should be taking them soon. Well, uh, I'm going out for a smoke, so maybe one of you kids could take, uh, you know, You need to give up smoking. You need to get off my case, Mom. I'll do whatever I damn well please. And you know what? It's none of your business whether I smoke or not. Well, you know, if you wanted to be a good role model, you would just give it up. The more you argue with me, the more I need to smoke. Well, <laughs> so you at least stand far enough Josh was such a jerk to you. Oh my god. 
probably would have tried to kiss the gay out of me. Well, believe me, kissing a guy isn't going to change who you are. What do you mean by believe me? Did I really just say that? <laughs> I think you did. I should get home. I'll talk to you soon, okay? Good night. I hope so. Wait. <laughs>
tailgating, you mean? Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do. So, does your grandmother come over very often? Yeah, pretty much every day. She gets bored living alone. Hey, do you want to go on a walk before we go in? It's nice out. Okay, I guess. If we get a bit further from the streetlights, I think we'll be able to see the stars better. Okay, that, that sounds nice. Man, it was quite the evening, wasn't it? It was crazy. Guess we can't always look at the world through rose-colored glasses. Well, no one wants to look at the world through shoot-colored glasses. <laughs> shoot-colored? Shoot Mom doesn't like it when we swear. Ah, yes, I could tell. <laughs> so, um, what's the story of the girl you were dating before, Caitlin? There's not much else to say. Let's just say she was a friend from back home, and she liked me a bit too much. <laughs> it must have been a big relief breaking up with her. No, I, I was sorry to lose a friend. I guess I could have been more considerate of her needs, and I feel bad about that, but I also had to make myself available to Caitlin. Caitlin said she didn't want to step between me and Megan, but I knew who I really wanted to be with, so I kind of had to, I guess. I know this might sound really weird coming from me, but I'm kind of glad you ended up with Caitlin, because otherwise, I would have never met you. <clears throat> so, we were talking about, <laughs> um, uh, how did you guys meet? We met at a social function, didn't you hear? So like, a party? Well, sort of. It, it was at a P-Flag benefit. I was just tagging along with my roommate. Caitlin happened to be there too, and that's where we met. And we really hit it off. Before we, I knew it, we were dating and... I was right! We can see the stars pretty well from here. I don't get out at night very much. I, I live in the city. I feel safer inside. Well, you missed out, my friend. So just enjoy the moment.
sorry we took so long. I brought him back in one piece. I don't think he's too traumatized. Would it be all right if I called it a night? I'm really tired, actually. Yeah, that's fine. Did I? No, I haven't shown you the guest room yet. Do you want to point me there? I, I can show you. Well, so can I. Come on, Jim.
right, Jim? I want to show you that suit I was talking about. Oh, here it is. You can try it on if you like. Or for that matter, you can even have it. I don't tend to get dressed up much anymore. Wow, you're at a loss for words. <laughs> Sorry, I, I was lost in thought. You were so quiet I could hear a pin drop. I don't hear a pin drop, just the clock ticking. Yeah, the clock does tick. <laughs> Maybe it has to rest. Oh, <laughs> that's good. That's good. I'm going out for a smoke, Jim. Yeah, you want to smoke? No thanks. No thanks. Last time I asked if you wanted to smoke, you said smoke, it was bad for you. This time, you didn't give me any food for thought. What the hell's my lighter? No one in this family, they probably stole it. I wish they stopped giving me crap about smoking. Weekend. 
And I know this might sound really weird coming from me, but I'm kind of proud of you. No, you're not. You're just saying that because you have an ulterior motive. We don't care if I'm gay just as long as I break up with Jim. You're absolutely right. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll be aside, Kate. It's okay. Now I can have all the guys. <laughs> Thanks, Sarah, but what's going to happen now? Well, the day will go on. We'll have breakfast, lunch, dinner, and eventually the sun will but set. But what about Sam? What does she want right now? Just because she's a lesbian doesn't mean she's interested in me. <laughs> but she might be. If she were straight and homophobic, you wouldn't have a chance at all. <laughs> what if she tells people I'm not even out? I wouldn't do that to you. Maybe I'm just paranoid, but I'm scared to tell mom and dad. You know they'll never accept me. And if Jim finds out before I have a chance to tell him myself, then I just- Hey, Jim! <clears throat> you look like you need something to do. I'm going to get the mail. Do you want to come with me? I guess I could keep you company. It's not far, is it? It's only as far as you want it to be. <laughs> Caitlin, my dear, may I pretty please have your permission to take a walk down to the mailbox with your sister? Of course. I'm glad you're getting along. You realize I came here to see you, right? Yet I'm spending more time with your sister than I am with you. Don't, don't you feel a bit jealous? No, I don't. Just go out with my sister and get the mail. <laughs> we never get any mail. You never know, Dad. Today might be the day. And there's nothing wrong with taking a walk. <laughs> Whatever. Suit yourself. <laughs> That's why I love it. Because you're wearing a suit. <laughs> Sarah, do you know where my lighter is? I hit it. <laughs> Where's my lighter? See you later, Dad. Sarah, where the hell's my lighter? Of all possible places, it was in the refrigerator. 
<laughs> it's almost like a gremlin was, was playing a prank on me. I mean, you brought this guy home and... Or, or maybe I accidentally left it in there when I was putting the vegetables in. I may have been holding them both at the same time. You know, my case and the vegetables, and I could have just left it in there with the vegetables. I guess it's only fair you know who I am. I bet that's it. Things turn up in the weirdest places. You know, like that time when I was here last week. Mom, will you stop it already? What is it, Richard? Nobody cares about your glasses. Well, I guess they're all just too busy being happy. Nobody's happy, fam. But didn't Caitlin just say she was gay? I meant I'm a lesbian. You think spending so much time with Jim would change that, right? Well, apparently it didn't. But why would spending time with Jim make Caitlin any less gay? He, he's the kind of guy who makes you very happy to be around. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> happy gay! She doesn't mean happy gay. She means that she's... I know, Richard. I was just making a joke. Oh, <laughs> this is no time for jokes. I have been late for work. Oh, well, you're working six days a week. Now I didn't realize that. You don't pay much attention, do you, Pam? I'm the only one in this house that has a real job. And I did not raise my daughter to be gay. Well, you know, Caitlin, you're not the first one in the family. You remember my brother Randy? Well, he never came out, but we all knew. Ever wonder why we never talked to him? Never invited him over? Well, that was awfully rude of you. I'm sure if you had spent any time with him, you wouldn't be so close-minded. I hope you realize you shouldn't be surprised to hear your daughter say that she is and gay. Well, I mean, you want her to be happy, right? That's not the point, Pam. <laughs> Caitlin, just look at your mom, cause she's the one who's in the wrong. Now hold on. Oh, you need to remember. Both of you need to remember. Well, well, you too, Richard. <laughs> you all need to remember to respect each other. Have a nice 
chat about Caitlin while we eat, but um, we'll have to stop at the store because my fridge is empty. Of course. I would invite your wife too, but apparently she has to work. I think Caitlin and I need to discuss this right now. Hey, you should be more worried about Grandma walking on the highway. My sexuality isn't going to get me run over. And besides, Mom, you are running late, and I'll still be gay when you get home. Fine. <laughs> But you are not off the hook, Caitlin. We are going to discuss this. Richard, I hope you put on some pants before you take Pam home. But, but, but I am wearing pants. Don't worry. <laughs> Talk some sense to them. There wasn't any mail. And there never will be any mail. <laughs> you get that, Caitlin? No. You'll never have any mail. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah, where's my lighter? I told you, I hit it. You are not going to smoke when you have me in the car. I will die from lack of oxygen. Get off my case, Mom. Well, you need to realize how you're affecting those of us who don't smoke. You can't tell me what to do. Well, you just need to remind your wife that she can't tell Caitlin what to do or who to be. <laughs> Ugh, whatever. Bye, Grandma. See you later. Is everything all right? No. Sir, could you give us a minute? With pleasure. Don't forget to, you know. Just go. So what's up? Jim? Caitlin? I love you. You know that. I love you, too. Of course you do, Jim. But I need to tell you something. And Jim, I, I hate to do this to you. You've been my rock through college. I can, I can always count on you to be there for I'm me. I'm glad I've been able to be there for you. And I don't want to change that, but the thing is, I'm gay. I'm not trying to end what we have now.
Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't think you can do that, man. 